If you ever walk through the CCIM on a Saturday afternoon, you'll find this. Students working on the St. Rose Chronicle. Most of the layout is done either Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon. Many of these editors put in multiple hours on the weekend to get each week's issue ready for publication. The process begins with receiving stories from writers and then editing each one of them. First I get it and then I sit and I read it and if it's really good, I'll make like a few edits of my own without telling the person, like, you know, usually it's just grammatical errors. After that step is complete, the editors begin the layout process using a program called InDesign. We get the art in and we place the art into the, into the template of the, of the newspaper page and we make it all fit, we make it look good, we put our captions in, put the bylines in. Making a story fit into a page isn't all that easy. Sometimes little tricks are used. We have ads, we have plugs for like new writers if anyone wants to write for the Chronicle. Um, we put our Twitter handles in and we do anything we can to keep the ink. After the layout is complete, it's time for one last look before sending it off for printing. Send it out to all of our editors to just look over one more time. It goes to our copy editor so she can read through it one more time to make sure, you know, it's factual makes sense. Then the Chronicle is sent for printing at the New England Newspaper Company. Once it's printed, it's then delivered to St. Rose, ready to be picked up and read. Reporting for St. Rose TV, Jackson Wang, Albany.